Hello and welcome to Bite Size Tech. I am your host Rogue and today's video is brought to you by Ewin Racing, the best source for gaming chairs and desks for those long gaming sessions. We do have a playlist of our Ewin chairs and desk videos linked in the video description below. But most of all, save 30% off everything using the discount code TECHTEALS and we do have more details at the end of this video. Rao comes in, if I'm saying that correctly, with a question from the land down under your homeland. It is. About motherboard manufacturer software downloads. All that software on the website of the company that makes your motherboard. Should you download it or should you not? That's a good question. Well, what do you think, my love? Do you think you should download it? I know I kind of read the question for you. Uh... I don't know. I'd, I'd never done it. Would you even think to? No. I mean, the BIOS, yes, but... This is the motherboard that Rayu... Ray, 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 say that for me, honey. Oi! I'm just going <laughs> to call him Oi! <laughs> the X570 Tai Chi, a, a very nice premium board. If we scroll down here to support... Now, we're not talking about BIOSes which really the term BIOS should go away anyway. BIOS or basic input output software no longer really exists. There's a compatibility mode for it, but it's really UEFI, which is a different thing than the BIOS, but we just, everybody keeps calling it the BIOS. We're talking about the download button, not, I again repeat, not BIOSes. We dealt with that in a different bite size tech. We did. When you hit download, of course, select your OS. In this case, most of these things are just going to say Windows. Right. And you're going to see a page of a lot of things. I'm going to take us off the screen Ooh. here for a minute so everybody can see all of the options. There's two beta options down here at the bottom, but we've got an Intel Bluetooth driver, an AMD chipset driver, a LAN driver, RAID, SATA floppy disk image, VGA drivers. Wireless LAN. Motherboard utility, app shop. Norton Security, Restart to UEFI, oh my goodness, and an RGB, hold on, RGB, 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 okay, enough of that. Here's the kicker, I would not download most of this. In fact, I would probably not download any of it. Sometimes the only way to get audio drivers that work with integrated built-in audio, like if they got a Realtek ALC 1220 audio chip, you can go to Realtek and download generic drivers. But sometimes those don't work because sometimes the motherboard manufacturers, especially on premium boards, have customized it. They've added an ESS DAC or they've added a third-party chip to help. You've got, for example, the Supreme FX Audio on the ASUS boards and the generic Realtek drivers won't support all those features. So you have to use ASUS's download if you want to enable the advanced features. Which is this kind of stuff. Which is this kind of stuff. But taking a look at this list... I mean, the Bluetooth... Do you see... A, oh, here it is. It's right up here. I was going to say, do you see it? Uh, this can download contains only the driver package. Realtek audio control will be downloaded via the Microsoft Store when an internet connection is available. Uh, would I download this? I would. And the reason I would is because a lot of these are customized and on boards with premium sound, a lot of times the generic drivers don't work. Would I download this Intel Bluetooth driver? Oh, heck no. AMD chipset driver? Get out of here. Forget it. LAN driver? No. VGA driver? That's ridiculous. You're not going to put anything on a... X570 Tai Chi board that's gonna, that's for like integrated graphics. Uh, that's if you have like a Ryzen 5 3400G. Right. If you're putting that on this board, stop that. Well, you know, yeah. Mm -hmm. Here's what you should do. Okay, here's what you should actually do. That board, even though it is an AMD board, actually has Intel parts on it. Intel LAN, Intel wireless, etc. And what you should actually do is this you should go to intel's website and download the intel driver and support assistant this will scan your system and it will download the latest intel uh, LAN driver wi-fi driver bluetooth driver etc if you have an intel ssd it'll download the toolbox it'll download a nvme driver for improved performance if you have a system with any intel components download the driver and support assistant it will get you sorted with the latest stuff I have had very, very good luck doing that. 
Now, as far as it's an AMD motherboard, then the only thing you should be doing is this. Go to the AMD driver and support page, scroll down to this auto detect and install updates for Radeon graphics and Ryzen chipset drivers. Download this. Yes, you can go select them. Don't. I have found zero reason to do this. This has worked very, very well. When they first came out with it, it wasn't always perfect, but in the past year, it, it, this has been virtually flawless. So download that and it will make sure if you have a, a Radeon graphics card, it'll make sure you have the Radeon graphics drivers installed. If, of course, you've got an X570 chipset, it'll make sure that your drivers for that are installed. Sure. It'll make sure that everything AMD related that you need, basically between the Intel download and the AMD download. Now, if you have an NVIDIA graphics card, well, then well, what then. you need is you need to go download GeForce Experience. Correct. Love it or hate it, it just by far makes life easier. Go download GeForce Experience. It will download the video drivers that you need automatically. Between those three tools, that's 90% of what most people, when I set up a new machine, those are my three go-to tools, and that pretty much covers almost everything. Realtek Audio is the one big miss there. There, yeah. What However, about fans? Well, hold on a second. That's a good question. Audio. I want to address his specific point. He has a $300 motherboard. It does have nice audio built in. Go buy yourself a Sound Blaster. Uh. Go buy yourself a Sound Blaster Z. Uh, you can either get a, a Sound Blaster RX uh, 7.1 for 60 bucks or a Sound Blaster Z for about $100. The sound difference is real. I switched from integrated audio to having a dedicated sound card a couple, uh, it made 2017. A, made, a big, made a big difference. It made a difference when I was streaming. The audio is cleaner. It yeah, just... Sounds much better. I don't use integrated audio for my personal machine. I have a lot of machines in the office where I do use integrated audio because it's not important. But my personal gaming machine at home has a sound blaster in it. My uh, computer here at the office that I do um, all my work on has a sound card in it. So if you've got X570 Tai Chi money, okay. you know, that is, in fact, now I'm kind of curious, X570, there it is. ASRock X5, well, how much do you think an X5, man, I am good at this game, honey. 300 bucks. There it is. ASRock X570 Tai Chi, $300. Go buy Sound Blaster Z. Then you can, and then you can make all that real tech driver garbage go away. Exactly. Or you can get a breakout amp via USB if you really want. But yeah, Minky says or a DAC or an amp. Absolutely. If you're an audiophile. And then you can buy some nice headphones and speakers and exactly rock on. There you go. Hopefully that helps some of you guys in terms of uh, software. But the short answer, is, oh, fans. Um, as far as fans go, that is actually a good question. There's two ways to do your fans. Uh, if you want to control your fan speed on your motherboard, you can either do it through your BIOS. Most modern BIOSes have a fan training option and you can skip the Windows software and you can train your fans and set your fan profiles in your BIOS. Or you could do it in Windows. We recently did that with one of Rogue's computers using the MSI Dragon software and went in and messed around with the fan settings and got your sound way down and it was fine. Yeah, it was much better. That is where you would download the um, the App Center, which is going to contain the software for that. <sighs> That's a whole video in itself. It is, and I would I would I would encourage you to try the BIOS first because then your fans are controlled without software in Windows, and some of the motherboard software, to be blunt, is kind of trash. You might have to download the RGB program if you want to configure oh, all your RGB, RGB stuff. Yeah. You may simply have no choice there. I got to tell you, some of it's really nice and some of it is... The motherboard companies need to work on their software suites. They really, really do. Gigabyte looking at you with your RGB software that is only partially reliable. I love Gigabyte's RGB in general when it works. 
Ewin Racing has a wide selection of chairs to fit all shapes and sizes of gamers, ranging from petite to cuddly. They have something for every type of gamer. Not just sizes, but colors and material options as well, including red, blue, purple, pink, orange, and many more, plus cloth and leather choices to boot. We have over half a dozen chair and desk videos in a special playlist down in the video description below. We also have a special offer just for Tech Deals viewers. Save 30% off of everything using the discount code TECHDEALS using our link in the video description below. We have personally used eWin gaming chairs for three years in our office, sitting on them for up to eight hours during live streams. They are very comfortable, and we are happy to work with eWin to bring you this special discount and recommend eWin for all your gaming chair and desk needs.